hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we bring to you just on remy suru too yes it's a moment of joy for remy suru too as she celebrates her granddaughter's one year birthday well this is not just any kind of celebration to her it means a lot to her because she believes her granddaughter is a reincarnation of our late daughter who remy suruto lost in 2017 to the cold hands of that she died of sickle cell anemia complications remy suruto shares the same birth month with her granddaughter she celebrated her birthday on the 14th of may but not in an elaborate way because she just lost her mother she added a post saying plus one and a caption which says say a prayer may 14 queen of course our comment sections were filled with so many happy birthdays from colleagues fans and followers of remy surutu and on the 22nd which is the special day of remy surutu's granddaughter she went ahead to celebrate our little baby and said happy birthday ayo abakale Having you in my life is one of the most beautiful gifts God gave me. Honestly, I can't imagine my life without you. You give me strength and happiness. You are my best friend and my first grandchild. You are everything to me. I love you so much, my baby. This was the birthday post shared by Remy Surutu, a proud and happy grandmother. Remy Surutu has two daughters before she lost one of her daughters. And the one and only surviving daughter was the one who gave birth to this beautiful princess called Ayo Abakale. And ever since then, Remy Surutu is of belief that her first daughter has come back to her in her granddaughter's form. Hence, she considers her a best friend and one who gives us strength sharing this news after years of losing her daughter she said she revived her strength after her granddaughter came to life she said words cannot describe the joy i am experiencing i'm now a grandmother my second and only surviving daughter was delivered a baby girl last thursday i believe my late daughter firstborn is back with me there is no more weeping for me the baby is my late daughter's carbon copy the emptiness of these past years has disappeared and I feel so fulfilled. I never knew I would become a grandmother this soon. My daughter is a career-oriented person. She is not really marriage-centric. So when things began to fall into place, it came as a surprise. I know God spoke to her for me. As a matter of fact, my daughter and her spouse told me they were not ready for a child. The only ceremony we have had was the introduction a formal way of introducing both families to one another. We had planned their wedding ceremony for December. This was Remy Surutu revealing this. She was ecstatic. She was happy. After her years of mourning and weeping. She further explained that, yes, she still misses her late daughter. But nevertheless, she's happy that she has gift from God. Explaining this, she said, I still cry and miss my daughter. But my grandchild is my succor now. On July 2nd every year, I visit my daughter's grave. I also go there on my birthday and hers too. I just go there to pray because of all I had gone through. A lot of people were happy for me. I have received so many congratulatory messages, calls. I can say she came back at the right time. The actress also noted that she was content with how far her profession has taken her. She said, I'm no longer a socialite, I'm a celebrity, not a socialite, I am content with where I am and I am not after anybody's achievement. My heart is young and free because I don't put unnecessary stress on myself. This was Remy Surutu with Saturday Beat. July 2nd, 2017 was when Remy Surutu lost her first daughter to sickle cell anemia complications. It was a sad moment for her. For months and years, she was bitter and sad. And this news was broken to the public by Yomi Fabi, revealing the sad news he posted and shared on his Instagram page saying, Rest in peace, Ayo. May God grant your mom at the remissory to the strength to bear this loss. She did all she can. OMG, Auntie Remy, please take heart. Seeing your lifeless body now cost me more pain. And it is because I value the friendship we shared. Journey well in serious pain now. 
end quote this was yomi fabi sharing this in 2017 days after ayomi kun ilaria yo passed on she was laid at ikoye gardens and vote cemetery and on may 21st 2021 remy Siru too welcomed her granddaughter with so much joy and ecstasy since then she has hold on to this beautiful gift that she calls her granddaughter before stardom remy Siru was a model and she said i was a model before i came into limelight i started with modeling thereafter i went for auditioning and i made it for one movie by Dan Ladi Baku. I also did audition for some other movies and telemovies on Nigeria Television Authority. Speaking of acting, well, her mother initially didn't agree to this. Eventually, she gave in and allowed her daughter become the actress that she is today. Explaining and sharing this, she said, Initially, I was sneaking out of the house to model for some advertising agencies like Linters, OBM, and the concept unit at Suruleri. There was a time we went for an audition at the NTA and I was picked because at that time, my cousin had introduced me to acting. At that stage, I had to leave the house and return the next day. If you look at my left here, my mother caught me there while she was dealing with me. I went to shoot with an NTA crew overnight on the island with Dan Lady Bako for the movie Sparks. And while we were shooting the movie, I was not bothered because I told myself that at that point, I was done with school and I was a big girl. By the time I got home, I learned that my mother was so worried that she had looked for me everywhere. Sadly, it is not like these days where you can reach the person by phone. I can never forget that day because it was my late uncle's driver that took me to the movie location. I begged him to take me to NTA when my mother was looking for me. Someone told her it was her younger brother's driver that took me away. Immediately, she took her housemaid, who was an elderly lady with some other people, to my uncle's office to ask for the driver. But unfortunately, it was not even at work at the time. She had to ask for his house and even though he lived at Mazamaza, she took the whole crowd there to look for me. But she did not see the driver still. When she was making all the trips, she bumped into a family member who told her that I was not with the driver but at the NTA acting and it angered her more. She headed for the NTA but was not granted entrance. I got home the next morning a few hours before she did and when she saw me she simply said wafe kulini you would almost die today she called for my elder brother who just arrived in nigeria from london with his friends and ordered them to beat me black and blue i was thoroughly beaten that day i remember a few years ago when i premiered one of my movies my mother was present and when she was being interviewed they asked her if she was proud of her daughter's achievement and she said yes after the interview i called her i reminded her of the beating she gave me but she just hit my head jokingly and quote well back to the gist i brought us today which is remy Soroto's daughter celebrating her birthday we say happy birthday long life and prosperity to baby ayo abakale well guys there you have it don't forget to like subscribe drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye